The old cat in all of her glory. Man, this thing is a beast. We didn't get a chance to get it out as much as we wanted to this season, but we have another one. And actually another one yet in Wisconsin too. So hopefully we'll have three of these things to fire up next year. But today we're heading out on a ride. We're just going out Jack, Lucas and I, so it's gonna be a little bit different. Should be sweet though. It's gonna be a lot of riding and just exploration. But first, Jack is gonna come out here and see how fast you can get this thing going on these caliber sled wheels. They're rated for 12 miles an hour and they work on a whole variety of skis and snowmobiles. As you can see here, we got this thing fitted up on the 93. I was just using these things in my links earlier, so they're super sick. Um, so yeah, let's get to that. So, we're gonna put a helmet on and see what these things got. To be very clear, do not try this at home and this is not what these are meant for. Um, these are probably going to explode once we get up to like 50, 60, 70. We'll see. This is a durability test of the caliber wheels. Seat. That was so crazy. I mean, the steering's a little loose on this thing, so it was like drifting when I was going down the road. And it's fine when you're like on the gas, but as soon as you let off at ski pressure, I like it's kind of sketchy doing that on pavement, to be honest. <laughs> but super impressive for these caliber wheels to hold up to that kind of abuse. I mean, it looks like they're still intact. The, the ski just came through. Yeah, they're right? going to be completely fine. Sick. We were ready to uh, accept what was going to happen to these things, but they clearly passed the durability test. So the caliber rating is 12 miles an hour. The boondock rating is 70. <laughs> Heck yeah, well these things are sick. We're going to be using them a ton this spring as we're driving these sleds in and out of the trailer and around the yard and loading up for the last few rides of the year. But we're heading out on a spring ride today. It's going to be pretty darn cool. It's just Jack, Lucas, and I. Probably a little bit different style video for you guys. A lot of riding, a lot of just exploration, and us just enjoying this time of the year. We love it so much, so. Yeah, we're gonna set out and try and do a pretty cool loop that we've been scoping out for years. So, let's load up and get after it. Heck yeah. Bringing the Spare Fresh belt for today. Yeah. The Grand Tour. It's a warm one, and we are going on quite the tour. This is a Sunday ride. It's me, Dylan, and Lucas. Uh, we've been riding together since like back in the day, since like we started Boondock Nation, High even school. before then. Yeah. yeah, the three of us. And I could probably count on one hand how many times the three of us have ridden together, just the three of us, in the mountains. So this is going to be a really cool ride. It's a beautiful day. It's supposed to get up to like 56 degrees today. Oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here in a t-shirt and shorts. We're going for a big cruise. This is an epic loop we're gonna be doing through some of the biggest country that we've ever ridden. For sure, we finally have the conditions we think to be able to do this. We've been scoping this out for a few years now. And uh, this season of all, I think we have the snowpack to be able to traverse some of the creek crossings and other obstacles that might be in our path. But it's gonna be epic. We're linking two zones together and uh, man, the loop of a lifetime. Yeah, for sure. This ride is gonna be so sick. Jay Steves is sick as a dog right now. He's not feeling too hot. So uh, he's been killing it behind the lens this season. This video is gonna be a little bit different, not quite as fancy, no drone shots. I guess we don't have a drone with us. But we'll make the best out of our phones and uh, we got a camera and the 360 and it's gonna be good. So tag along, it's gonna be pretty fun riding, a lot of personality, I'm sure. And uh, let's go enjoy this day. Sunday fun day.
makes you feel pretty small, huh? I was gonna say, I feel so small standing here. <laughs> You're sitting, actually. There you go. What a ride in. Yeah. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> We are just about to cross our first ridge of this major exploration expedition we are out for on this fine Easter Sunday. It's a beautiful day to be out here and drop into a zone that has a lot of cool features. So we're going to be hitting a lot of cool stuff along the way here and uh, we're tracking our ride using Onyx. We're looping it back to the truck. This is something we've never done before. It's going to be wicked. So let's go across this first bowl and hit some of these features. and. We'll keep on moving. So before we went on our ride today, we used the Onyx app to be able to map out this crazy loop that I mentioned we're going on. We're using the slope aspect and slope angle layers within the app to know exactly how steep this train is that we're riding, if it's rideable or not, and then knowing exactly which way the hill is facing that we're riding on. Since the avalanche conditions are a little bit weird this time of the year with the spring warming, we need to know exactly where we're at at all times. So we're just about to pop up on this crazy ridge. We're going to the huge terrain today. Let's see what we got. Yeah, boys! Here we are atop the first ridge crossing. One at a time, of course. Nice loop. Looking good down there. Yes, mandatory hip jump on the way in. Honestly, dude, this might be my favorite jump in here. Really? Yeah. So you loop around through here, come back to it this way, and you see it's a little gap. Yep. And you could just swag it out to this whole thing. Dude, that's sweet. Yeah. What a little, what a find. Yeah. Out of just some little tree wall wind formations. Some for 
get there. That's insane. Holy balls. Yeah, dude, my balls just dropped. <laughs> this is some big country. Hardly any wind, that's unbelievable. Yeah. This is super cool, like, dude, what a good spot to be able to bust out our phones, check out Onyx, see where we need to go next. Like, this is a big loop we've never done before, and we can look at it from the top of the mountain that we're traveling around. It's gonna be a cool perspective. Yes, I have Go and Track going right now so we can reference that too you know but these are all downloaded maps as well for offline satellite imagery it's awesome we're going to be able to correlate <clears throat> terrain features we see on the map with all this stuff and figure out how to loop this out we're going to try and get over there go i think the back side yeah we should probably have some lunch too yeah let's do that you got sunscreen i do i do this is a spot for some sunscreen if i've ever seen it <laughs> up this close to the sun with like mid 50 degree weather just instantly burn yeah yeah this i give me some of that i think we got a cross This one's not very deep. This is crazy. cross back there we could cross back there and then get on that side that side's looking better now yeah it is you know you can plan stuff like this the best you can but at the end of the day you don't know where the creek's gonna cut you off where you're gonna be able to cross or you're not gonna be able to cross Ramsky. to cross back there I guess and side hill up this looks more like it or we could go up here Oh. 
this is crazy. So I think we could just ride these trees on this right side. That's probably our safest side too, until we get up to that bowl. Okay. looked a little gnarly. Well, it's probably pretty good up there, but a lot of consequences if you lose it. Pull the front end around. I could try elevating it, but there's no good alleyways. God, I spun around here. This is gnarly. Starting to change consistency. sounds I heard it when you're pulling away a little bit. It's terrible. We are gonna have to go back out the way that we came because my sled is just making terrible noises from the primary. These nine hours obviously have a problem. Uh, we've seen on our camera guy Jordan sled this year. We've heard of it all over the internet and my clutch sounds like it's about to blow off and we are at pretty much the furthest point away from the truck mm -hmm. right now. Um, I'm pretty diligent in maintaining this thing. 
and checking things over, but it just sounds terrible, especially when I let off the gas. So I'm trying to be as easy on it as possible. We've got a pretty big ascent to get out of this point, at least over the ridge from where there it's all downhill to the truck, mostly. Uh, we can avoid a heli. Otherwise, it's going to be a mandatory heli if uh, we have any issues between here and there. So really sad that we aren't able to complete this loop, but we'll have to try again another day. Yeah, that's all we can do. I don't even know how to describe what this thing's doing. It's revving up weird when I'm not even like trying to accelerate and like decelerating. It feels like the clutch is slipping, but it's so consistent that it's hard to pin it on the clutch slipping. I don't know, but I'm sketched out. Basically, I have to make it over this ridge. We'll go down there. Once we're over that ridge, we're home free. It would be a, be a pain to tow it out, but it's possible. Now from right here, it's about a $3,000 heli bill. Uh, don't ask how we know. <laughs> but the, it's about three grand between... This hill is about a $3,000 hill. So, come on, old girl. <laughs> Just a little bit longer. Oh, no. That's like his third run at that. It's not what you want. End of the day, this is the last hill we have to come up and over. Basically a $3,000 hill. If he doesn't make it, it's probably a heli bill. <laughs> Side hilling into it, yeah. Get there. Yes. Fuel pump for you, baby. No way. <laughs> the wettest snow ever. It's completely mashed potatoes. And it's awesome. It feels so good, man. It's gonna be like this for the next couple of weeks. We've got some good stuff in store. We'll let you know what we figure out with this thing as far as the primary issues go. If you've had issues this year, drop a comment. We're not trying to disparage any brand, but it helps to just get a conversation going so we know what's going on out there, so. Just a couple more weeks before we head back to Wisconsin for the summer, start planning out all our trips for next winter. Well, that's a wrap for today. It was super fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.